Uh, boys? Are you all right? Nirvana is coming. Soon, peace will return to the Paper Mario fandom. <laughs> For at least a month or two. And Jack playing this disaster piece to get James out of this fanboy coma? But all it does is hurt me! This cave is so bad! Oh, you poor dears. Let me help you. What the? It's a peach? I liked being in that coma. Slick, we have a show to do! Oh, right. Uh... Thanks, Peach. <laughs> Wait, how do you use your sparkle antidepressant power without Stella? She taught me how to harness it. Yeah, makes enough sense to me. What? But how- Oh yeah, today's ep is all about your new game, right? That's right, showtime! <laughs> for the occasion, I've got a visual tribute for you. Ugh, not again. I got one for you too, Jay. Keep that thing away from me! Coming to you live from the Mushroom Kingdom, it's Ask Mario! Hello everyone! <laughs> Today we're going to be answering questions on about Princess Peach Showtime. Yahoo! I'm so glad you got another game, Princess. Nice title too! It's got my catchphrase! Showtime! I'm truly grateful that I was given another starring role. I want to thank Nintendo for the opportunity, and all of my fans for their loving support. And a big thank you to Stella and the Sparkle Theater for hosting this game. You know, you could have picked the Wordplay Theater. We'd have been honored! Wordplay Theater? What's that? Uh, nothing! So, Slake, what did you think of the game? Uh, it was pretty decent. It's no masterpiece, but I had a fun time. I'm still listening to the end credit song on loop. It's super catchy. Wait a minute, how'd you play the game if you were in a fanboy coma? After Peach broke me out of it, I broke out the speedrunning strats. Wowie zowie. Yeah, it's a pretty short game. But being the theater nut, I had a blast the whole way through. Took me back to my community theater days. Wait, you two played this game? Isn't it just for... <laughs> little girls? No. Didn't you play it? <laughs> yeah, because my babe is it. What's your excuse? I'm plenty secure in my masculinity, dude. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the guy playing this game. Heck, I'm so secure as a man that I'm comfortable not being a man. That doesn't make any sense. You don't make any sense, please! First question? Murray has a question for Peach. Oh, I know this guy. He makes reaction videos, and he's actually reacted to all the Ask Mario episodes. Hi, Murray. Hope you're doing good. You know, I'm probably watching you right now as you're watching me. Reactionception, ha ha ha. Anyways, uh, what's your favorite outfit from Princess Peach Showtime? I know this is directed towards me, but how about all of us share our thoughts on the outfits? Aw, you're so sweet, Peachy. Is that really your pet name for her? How original! What was your favorite, sweetie? The sword fighter! Basic! Shut up! This was a great one to start with. I felt like I was in Sleeping Beauty, storming a castle and slashing up vines. I didn't get to fight a dragon, but still, it was a lot of fun. I could've helped with that! We could've had co-starring roles! So bad, so sad. I couldn't help but notice that the colors looked a bit like Mario's. Was that intentional? I don't know, but I wouldn't put it past the costume designers. What about you, Luigi? Oh, I, I love the detective outfit, and those levels were great. Uh, mystery novels are my favorite, and I felt so smart with each strike of intuition. <laughs> Congrats, Grady, you solved mysteries designed for kindergartners. whoop dee doo They were tricky, but not too tricky. Nintendo made sure players of all skill levels could solve them. What about... you, Bowser? I'm glad you asked! Definitely the cowgirl one! Oh, you look great with those horns in your hat, babe! It almost looks natural on you! Ay, ay, ay. They're practical, fashionable, and deadly! You should wear them more often! The rope mechanic was a lot of fun, and I loved seeing you on a horse! Well, shucks, honey! I would've loved a little old deputy by my side! Way to make him reach for the sky! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke. I actually have a tie for my favorites! I love the patissier and mermaid! I was most in my element as a pastry chef, but I loved getting the chance to sing! I loved being in that graceful form. Uh, yeah, I had so much fun. 
fun moving fish. The controls weren't clunky or awkward at all. Jason, what was your favorite level? <laughs> well, being a connoisseur of Eastern entertainment, I loved the ninja outfit. Sneaking around, getting the jump on foes, and seeing the less than accurate ninja arts was awesome! That being said, it actually makes sense for a stage setting, as what we stereotype about ninjas actually came from Kabuki. <laughs> On a similar note, it wasn't my favorite outfit in a cosmetic sense, but I think the kung fu levels were my favorite to play. Yeah, I, I, I like spinning on poles and, and uh, kicking guys in the face. <laughs> Skadoosh. Oh shoot, uh, carry on without me for a bit, guys. The wife's calling. <laughs> yeah, like anybody put a ring on you, dweeb. Oh, look at me, I can tell whether or not someone is married. I can't get a date, but I'm a perfect judge of someone else's marital status. Yeah. Jamie Harrell 5321 has a question for Peach. Hey, congrats on your new game. If you ever get another one, will you invite Daisy and Rosalina and get to participate in a cafe or a fashion design studio? P.S. You rock, girlfriend. Aw, thank you, Jamie. I hope you enjoyed the game. And yes, I would love to invite them. Uh, Daisy in a cafe outfit? <laughs> Sadly, uh, that's Nintendo's call to make, not ours. Who'd even want a game with those two? What the, you, you serious? Us? Let's get Star Mommy and Flower Mommy on the phone. Hi, I'm Daisy. Greetings, viewers. Uh, hi, Daisy. <laughs> oh, look. Diet Peach has graced us with her presence yet again. Oh, look. The captain of the Single Tyrants Club. What the? Who told you about my fraternity? I mean, hi there. <laughs> Hello, dears. Did you get a chance to play Showtime? Yeah, I beat it in a few hours. It was a blast. I was a bit irked I didn't get to join you for another adventure, but I got to be in Wonder a few months back, so Nintendo's off the hook. For now. I don't have a lot of time to play video games, but I did get Princess Peach Showtime and Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the same weekend. It was a trial partitioning playtime for the Lumas. Dang, girl! How do you juggle all those kids? We mostly play multiplayer games like Mario Kart and Smash Brothers, so everyone gets a turn. We were just talking about the Showtime outfit. So what was your favorite? Well, oh, I... Oh, oh, the Mighty Suit was killer! I'm such a big fan of action movies. Grabbing buses, beating up aliens, and growing giant was freaking epic! Woo! Uh, yes. Quite... Epic. I preferred the slower gameplay. The figure skater's elegance was a delight to behold. I love the routines you performed. I also love mystery novels. The detective scenes were very memorable. Mystery novels? Eh, uh, I find those kind of oh, boring. Oh, you like mystery novels too? Uh, which do you like? I grew up with Sherlock Holmes and the Hardy Boys. <laughs> Wonderful. I recently read some of Herringway's mystery novels. The murder in the mayor's house was particularly gripping. Oh yeah, I, I read that. He, the uh, quote-unquote murderer was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and the mayor's wife jumped to conclusions. Oh. What a twist ending. <laughs> hey, watch it, Rosie. That's my guy to giggle with. Huh? <clears throat> I mean, uh, how about that dashing thief outfit? Kinda reminds me of Mr. L. A Weege? I'd rather forget that. Oh. Why? You look so dashing in that outfit. <laughs> oh, I loved my thief outfit. <laughs> Shooting across skyscrapers made me feel like Carmen San Diego. Luma Lee kept going on about Persona 5's Joker when he played those levels. I still need to figure out the parental lock. Oh, I know how to do it. Maybe next time I visit the observatory, I can help you out. You visit. Rosalina? Yeah, Mario and I visit from time to time. Nothing like seeing old friends. Oh, you and Mario. That's, uh, uh, good. G great, even. <laughs> uh, Daisy, are you okay? Uh, yeah. And anyways, I need to christen a, 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 a space boat with uh, the Moai's face on it. Bye, I'm Daisy. Uh, farewell, everyone. Uh, Jason? Are you okay? Oh, you're mad because I was just on the phone with Rosalina, you're such a huge fan of hers, and you still haven't gotten to talk to her because calling someone in outer space is so expensive, and you just, uh, missed a rare moment where you could have finally done that. Yeah, I, I'd be pretty mad too. <laughs> Next question. Jack! 
<laughs> Mario Bro Ultimate 1808 has a question for Bowser. What's your opinion on the Wicked Grape from Princess Peach Showtime? Ever considered dating her instead of Peach since, well, you know, she's evil like you? Oh, goody. Another weirdo who wants me to kiss someone. How good, kind of delightful. Well, I ain't kissing anyone with an ain't that name. I mean, come on. Grape? What? Was raising a prune taken? <sighs> yeah, the name is kind of weird, but the battle against her sure wasn't. It was so cool. I know! Peach looked like a Super Saiyan Elsa! Super Saiyan? Oh, you mean that thing Sonic does when he gets the emeralds and turns yellow? <laughs> what even is Grape? She looks like a mix of Fantina from Pokemon and Mr. Dark from Rayman. <laughs> she gives me unsettling flashbacks to Dementio. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dear. All I really know is she's some kind of sorceress. That's great and all. Not really. But what do Grapes have to do with theater? A lot, actually. Grace invented the concept of theater that we know today. And one of their gods, Dionysus, was the god of theater and wine. Wine? Yeah. Haven't had a hard drink in forever. Not since Mario Kart, Japanese version, anyway. Makes my fire breath go all combusty and stuff. You know, I I'm a happy for you, Peach. Huh? How so? You finally have a villain of your own. I've got Koopy, Luigi as King Boo, and you have Grape! One of these names is not like the others. One of these sucks and the others sound cool. <gasps> you think Koopy sounds cool? I knew you'd come around. <laughs> Wait, what? No! Never! We don't know for sure if she'll return for a new game, but I guess I'll consider it a badge of honor. <laughs> Why? Having your own villain isn't fun, it's stressful. <laughs> Why? You don't like a fighting King Boo? I <laughs> forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching everyone! Be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notified when we release new episodes. Also, leave a comment below if you'd like a chance to hear us answer in... What's going on? Uh, guys, got another number I don't recognize. <laughs> Salutations, worms! It is I. The Magnificent Grape. Grape? You're alive? What are you doing here? Hello again, my little foil. Did you honestly believe that I would bow out after that sham of a curtain call? No, my dear. The curtain hasn't fallen on my performance yet. I will have my ultimate tragedy. And now I will take over your precious wordplay theater! What the f Why do you guys keep calling it that? It's the Ask Mario Theater. <laughs> Silence! I'm calling to announce to you, uncultured swines, that I'm now at sight of the theater, waiting for a rematch with my nemesis. But this time, the spotlight will shine upon my victory! Yeah, not gonna happen. Look, one villain to another, you gotta be more of a threat for my babe. She deserves better! Excuse moi Think about it. You're taking over a theater instead of a kingdom? Lame! At the very least, change your name. Seriously, what kind of moron thinks a vegetable sounds intimidating? Don't mansplain villainy to me, you dullard! Enough! You won't be taking over another theater as long as I'm here! Oh? <laughs> and how do you plan to stop me? Neither your precious ribbon friend or those pathetic sparklers are here to back up your performance. Without them, you're just a useless damsel in distress waiting to be rescued. You're nothing. <sighs> That's my girl. How did she do that? What do you mean? The sparklers and Stella aren't here! How did she do that? Oh, well, there's a simple explanation. And that is? It's awesome. Who cares? I care? It doesn't make any sense! Yeah, you make sense. Oh, sure. Call back to the gag in the beginning like it strengthens your argument. Peach needed the help of the sparklers and the thieves to become radiant. We don't have the time and money for them unless we want to draw them for free. That's not the point! It ignores the canon! Whatever, Miguel O'Hara. It's a freaking YouTube video. Who cares? We're the pinnacle of Mario videos on the internet. We're at a higher standard. What, you think we're at the same standards as Level Up? Nelly spits upon us, Jason. Have confidence in your own channel, you moron! <gasps> Only 
Only my mom can talk to me like that! I am your co-writer, and that makes me your mom now! Are you gonna be like this when Thousand Year Door comes out? Oh, I don't know. Are you still gonna be ugly when it comes out? With your stupid baseball mitt hair? Leave my baseball mitt hair out of this, you despicable creature!